What's up, everybody? Uh, Matt Guff. I'm here with the owner of Public Snowboards, Joe Sexton, and uh, Joe's gonna walk us through the 2021 lineup. Joe, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you? Dude, so good, really good. <laughs> I am. Uh, I, I'm really glad to have you in, and uh, you know. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> We've been shooting uh, vids for like a quite a long time. Yeah. And this is the first time I think that we've we've talked about your brand. Yep. Public. This is uh, uh year, season five already. Yep. Holy cow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Time flies. How how does it how does it feel to like be be established within you know like five years and do some great products? It feels really cool. I mean, we started the brand with just wanting to do cool graphics for our friends and for people who would appreciate them. And so to be able to be in business after five years and all the up and downs that go with it mm. is like, I'm actually really proud of where we're at now because we've learned so much. And I feel like we're at this place where we're excited for the next five years. Cool. And uh, you, have, you have four boards within the lineup uh, mm -hmm. this season. Uh, you have uh, the general public, which is a Goodwood Award winner, yep. uh, the disorder, uh, yeah. Display was, which is also a Goodwood Award winner, yeah. and then the dispute. Yep. Um, do, do you see how many how many boards did you have when you first started? You said two. We had two. Yeah, we had. Um, they were called the opinion and the therapy, and those were the very two first two boards. Okay. And we got like when we decided we we're going to do a brand, we were working with another like distributor and a passport sponsor and all this stuff, and it was basically like, I'm going to do my own brand, and they're like, okay, cool you have two months to come up with a name and everything and get boards for SIA that year. Yeah. So we were just like, all right. And then literally just kind of like mm. brainstormed everything, got found Josh Manolos to work on it with me and all this stuff fell into place. So we kind of had these two years and that was sort of like a soft launch. Okay. So then the following years we had three and then we just kind of kept adding to, to the SKUs. Cool. Yeah. So like uh, for, for this season, um, are you, are you, as you start to grow, expand your business, add more people in. Mm -hmm. Do you see uh, the, the SKUs getting uh, more or, or are you pretty? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like where we're at. We, we, we were working on like one more new board. I'd like to do something maybe in the more like powder realm someday. Cool. But as far as I see it, I don't really see a need for like our business being a small brand. We don't need 20 different SKUs right. kind of like, we just kind of have to, I want like, a good price point board and then a higher end maybe powder board and then some stuff in between. But the thing is like people ask us about like shape boards all the time. We have no one on our team that would ride kind of a wacky shape board. So we're, we're not gonna make something like that. Yep. Unless our team rider came to us and really wanted something like that. Yeah. So we're kind of just catering to our team and what our team wants and what kind of like our main customers want, which right now it's a lot of like just solidly built freestyle park boards. And yeah. that's sort of like this lane that we're that we're in right now. And that's what we're all into. So it kind of makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Like trying to do something that, that isn't you or isn't yeah. the team is like, it, yeah, it wouldn't make sense. Our, our team is a handful, a lot of like rail guys and park guys. So mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense to try to build a big crazy powder board <laughs> if no one on the team or really anyone involved is gonna ride it. Right. So we're kind of just sticking with what we know and, mm -hmm. and we like, that and it's maybe we get asked to do some stuff like that and it's like yeah but we want to stick in the world that we know yeah 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 and like looking at the four boards that you do have they're really well diversified in 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 tech and in, in what you get for for the price or the value and yeah like even, even starting out like well let's just talk about this one in general yeah. this is um uh, were all the graphics done by Josh? Yeah, every art, we have a full-time art director and business okay. partner, he's part of the brand, his name's Josh Manolas. Yep. He is like very, very known as far, in, the, in our world of like, mm. he's the man. Yep. And so we started out, which was cool, that whole two month period of when we're gonna do this brand, I reached out to him and I was like, can you do like a sticker or a t-shirt? Yeah. And I, I knew him as a friend, we were skate buddies, but we weren't really that close. Mm. And he was like, wait, you're doing your own brand? And I was like, yeah, and he's like, can I just do the boards? Oh, so good. And then from there, it was like, he really did take the reins. It's like his whole aesthetic and his whole like thing that he has really became part of it. And then that's when public really took its, the direction it took. Mm -hmm. And like, now I just like take my hands off the wheel. He creates the coolest stuff. Like we have such a good working relationship. And every time we're doing a new season, the stuff he comes up with is, is amazing. Yeah. I, think, I think the graphics that, that you guys are doing are definitely on the forefront of what other brands would like to do, but can't for whatever reason. Like when I say when they, they can't is because they, they may not have the people in place that have the design uh, wherewithal to know that what you guys are doing 
or is on the front on the front lines. Yeah, you know I, mean? I think it helps with just being like how like tapped into like culture Josh is oh, and like sure. myself like we're interested in that stuff like yeah. fashion and skateboarding and yeah. and like just the way that all feels. Mm -hmm. So when we come up with something we're like that's fucking cool. It might take like yeah, maybe a couple of years for that to catch on with like a bigger brand. Right. And honestly, we just like own it. Like when we do a board like this and we love it, we're like almost, it doesn't really matter what a lot of other people think. Like we love this. We did it with like a cool artist and, and we like the way it looks. Mm. And as long as we believe in it, it's authentic, then that, yeah. then we hope that that like rubs off on people. Yeah. Instead of creating something that we're not that excited about, that just seems like it's going to sell or something like that. Mm -hmm. Big basic logo board like we've just never really been interested in that because i like just graphics and artwork and all that stuff so mm -hmm. when we decided to do that it really took shape because it's like instead of listening to what would people want we're just like we're gonna do what we want to do cool yeah cool and you know like looking at looking at the four decks uh i, I noticed right away that there's there's uh, two major similarities uh the first one is the sidewalls and then mm -hmm. the bases what what can you tell me about about b both those aspects well, the sidewalls are urethane sidewalls. Okay. Every single board has a urethane sidewall, yep. which we like, we love that. Like there's all these things that you can do with a factory. You can do an ABS sidewall that can crack. We're like, why do you want, why don't I have that as an option? Like urethane's cool. You come down on a rail, it bends, it flexes. We're used to doing street stuff like that. So give ourselves every chance to not break a board. Yeah. And then every base we have is a centered base. Yep. And that's another option. You can do extruded and centered. Extruded is just cheaper, not as good material, slower down, it's, it's easier to dent, chip. Yep. And we're like, we want to do the best we can on every board. Like yeah. at least from like the tr the base of like the basics, we want those to be the best materials you can make. Right. Yeah. Right. And this one, the, the general public, such a cool name. Uh, Thanks, yeah. uh, you know, awesome font that you guys have. Like the little logo head yeah. is really great too. Um, but yeah, having having a a value based board, a price point board with urethane and a center base, yeah. that's huge. Yeah, and we that's the thing is we we want to offer a board that if it is price point, mm -hmm. it's still a solid board. Like it's it really is like. A lot of those price point boards are extruded ABS. Like they just don't have really anything to them right. to justify the price point. But for yeah. us, we're like, if a kid's gonna buy a board and all he can afford is this one, we yeah. still want it to be a, a good snowboard. Yeah. So yeah, we, we made that decision and we were happy with it because we just don't see the need to try to give somebody cheaper materials. Sure. Yeah. Yep. So this is the, the general public, you know, has what, a camber and a little fl a flat or rocker on the nose and the tail. Yeah, just a little bit of kick. Like everything's not super exaggerated, like full banana style, but right. it's regular between the feet and it has rise on the tip and tail. Okay. And it's going to give you that kind of like snappy. It's a softer board. It's it's more that kind of like Highland Midwest board. Cool. And it's great because it's just like kind of one that we've seen people like get one of these and another board or like yeah. bring this one in the street more than ever and stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. And then and then the, the the next kind of board within the line as we mm -hmm. kind of like progress up it's called the disorder. Yep. And uh, it's has same construction materials, it's got biax glass, yep. uh, poplar wood core, yep. uh, urethane sidewall, centered base. Yep. Um, and what what's the major difference? It, it's the profile shape, isn't it? I think the difference on this one is just the badass graphic. Because <laughs> we, we, so we have a team right named Nick Dirks, who okay. was an awesome snowboarder, had a great career, okay. has since gone on to do kind of tattoo work. Yeah. And we're getting tattoos from him one day. And we're like, would you ever be down to do a, a board graphic? Cool. He's instantly like so into Nick it. So Nick, Nick did all the graphics for these. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. So he just took his, his whole thing and then Josh laid it out. And it's like, it turned out so cool. And it's funny because it was like in this, in the mix for graphics, but it didn't really have a place for it. I was working on my like pro model shape and nothing's really coming together. And like, this was actually gonna be a different graphic. And I was like, you know what? Like, I want that to be my pro model. Awesome. <laughs> so we're, I was like, Nick, like, your board's gonna be my board. Cool. And he's like, sick. So yeah. So this, this is the, the board that you consider to be like, kind of like your baby, yeah. the one that you, yeah. that you arrived. Yeah, so I had the therapy for a while and that was a little bit kind of taking this more rocker shape. Okay. And since I've, snowboarding changes like, things change I'm like not as into that anymore yep. so then this one's micro camber okay and I just wanted a board that was camber that had like a little bit more beef to it and so we developed this one okay after that yeah so this is the disorder it is a new shape yeah Got it. So full, full micro camber yeah the whole thing is just it's like it's just slow slow but it's like three millimeters oh. it's just like a little bit little bit of micro camber Sweet. which is cool because flat is cool but you do feel like that little bit of, of camber it, it does make a small difference so yeah. yeah I've been liking it it's good yeah. What, what, like if you're, you're ripping on Highland, what's, what's something you really enjoy about this board the most? 
think just like once it breaks in, I, I've always liked the shapes too. I've always liked like a bit more blunted nose. Sure. So I look down, that's when a snowboard like looks good to me. I've never really loved like some of this stuff. Yeah. I feel like I can like miss a rail. Like I just need to see like a little bit wider of a surface area okay. to kind of feel confident. So once I, once I broke this one in, it's just like, out of the box, it felt great, Ooh. and it just feels snappy. And like, I'm not someone who's super picky with boards, okay. but this one felt different. Like, I was like, this was like my dream board, and it's awesome. like, yeah, it's cool. Like, the therapy was great, and then I like got on this one. It was like for right now where I'm at in my like life and career. I'm like, this is what I want to ride. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and such a yeah, again, super cool graphic story, Thanks. Michael Camber. Yeah. Um, and then then like kind of like the next two boards, yeah. um, they kind of like. There's quite a bit of tech there. There's carbon yeah. and aramid, which is yep. Cavalier in them. Uh, this is the display, and yep. then again, it's like a, a good Goodwood Award winner yeah. too, right? That was all like in the first like two or three years of having the company. It's like yeah, we, 18. we were like, Transworld was like, can you send us a board to test out and like we'll do it for the Goodwood thing? And we we're like, we're just gonna lose this board. Like they're gonna test it out. <laughs> they're and keep someone's it. gonna keep it. And we're like, all right, well, whatever, it's worth a shot. Yeah. And then I think they did hit us up and they're like, do you mind if we keep it? And then someone was like, if they keep it, it's actually a good chance that they're gonna shoot photos of it because it won. Oh, okay. And I'm like, getting my hopes up like, okay, maybe. And so we're like, right. yeah, keep it, go ahead. Sure. And then they let us know that we won and it was really cool. Oh, that yeah. is really cool. For both of those, for early on in a brand's, for our career and our early on in the brand's like life, we were like really excited about that. Mm -hmm. Cause that's something that you, brands work a long time to get. Mm -hmm. And it was cool to have that like, that acknowledgement that early. And it was like, it really set the tone for like, these are good boards and like everything like that. So it was cool. Cool. And then uh, what's a graphic graphic story on this one? So these are all Daryl Mathis photos that he okay. shot. So this is Daryl Mathis pro model. Okay. Daryl's been a legend snowboarder, like 15 years, mm -hmm. had an amazing career with Ride. And, and now he went on to start Howl Gloves, mm -hmm. still filming, still puts out awesome footage, is like a staple at Vans, just like, the quintessential career that he's had is like he's done it all right so yeah. it's been really cool when I when I left oh. Stepchild to start public he left with me and was like whatever you want to do like I'll go with you it's so it's really cool to have that support and yeah he, every year he's kind of likes these like big he loves the big logo which is rad he like wants to represent it which is yeah. really cool and then we always try to incorporate he's an amazing photographer so we always try to incorporate some of his artwork into it. So he sent, he took a bunch of these pictures and then Josh kind of lays them out in a really cool way as Josh does. This is like one of my favorite boards like we've ever done. Like just the way like everything pops and it really speaks to like, it's clean. It's just so Daryl, like the whole thing. Yeah. So it's yeah. really cool. That ba You're right though, that yeah. base, like when I first saw this, when you yeah. brought this in today, like I flipped it over right. and I, like, I looked at sit and I was like, Oh, that's a good base. It's cool. And sometimes with these base. bases, like you can get very like blown out and kind of fuzzy with like a yeah. big file like that. But right. the factory just nailed it. Like it's super crisp mm -hmm. and like just the overlay. And we did die cut base, like sure. just like all these things. Like if you screen print this, it doesn't quite pop as much. Right. right. So we do die cut. Mm -hmm. It's just like all these little things to like tie it together. Sort of like it sounds cheesy, but like a piece of art. Like it's like, yeah. you know, something that we're like proud to put out and it's very thought through. Right. So, yeah. And then uh, the display and the dispute, they, they both feature that, that carbon. So like yep. two full stringers of carbon, yep, carbon. and then a V-shaped aramid. Correct. What does the carbon do to the deck and what does the aramid do to the, the feel of the board? Yeah. Carbon kind of so like softens it up in the chatter. Sure. So if you're riding some ice, things like that, it just gives it a little bit more stability, to be honest. Like high speeds, you really feel it like respond. Mm -hmm. And then the aramid stringers are, when you're jumping over something like ollieing, yeah. you can you can actually load up the stringer. Like, yeah. and it's not to say board, and other boards don't have like you, can, you can't get off the ground, but you do feel it like it's got that little bit of like snap. Yeah, and it's pretty cool. Like yeah. it, it does make a difference. So for jumping, you come down hard on the tail, like it it's, it softens it, and when you're like jumping up to a rail, it'll kind of it like pops you up there. Cool. Yeah. And that's that's good to have, you know. I suppose, I suppose with your uh, with your skate background, you know, it's like that's something you'd want to incorporate in your in your boards, like being able to have like a little yeah. little snap to yeah. it. Yeah, I think we just wanted to like invest in like technology too. Like these things exist that for from factories to use. Like mm -hmm. I want to build boards that are keeping up with like the times. I don't want to just build like mm -hmm. anything that's like with none of that stuff in it because I think people want that kind of stuff. And yeah. if we're gonna charge you know, 500 bucks for a snowboard. Mm -hmm. We want it to have all the bells and whistles and the technology to go with it. So right. it's like worth that money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we just decided, yeah, we, we just made those decisions. Like we won't, okay, we did this one. Like let's do a better one. Let's, cool. let's see what other materials and, and, and technologies we can use. So 
God. It's been fun to learn that side too, because none of us came from necessarily like building snowboard background. Sure. I've always rode them, but I never knew what went into it. Yeah. So now to learn these other things you can do and things you can do differently to try to set yourself apart is fun too. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it shows like again, like it's a well diversified line. You, know, you got this like kind of uh, alert camera, you know, yeah. camera with a little rocker, yeah. then micro camera on the next one. Uh, what What's the profile shape of this one? Is that? Is that flat with a little rocker? Yep, this one's flat between, it's just what Daryl wanted. Daryl wanted yeah. a flat board with a little bit of rise. Okay. And the rise, again, isn't like banana shape. It's just this little bit of like kick to like get your nose out of the powder pretty much, some stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And, Darryl, and it's a twin tip board. So yeah. Daryl was the same way. We, we gave him a couple samples to ride and he really built it from scratch, which yeah. is cool. And it's fun to create a board like that and then text Daryl, what do you think of that board? He's like, dude, best board I've ever ridden. Awesome. I love that feeling so much. And like him giving it to a buddy and his buddy being like, this board's so insane. Like, yeah. I, I like our graphics, I like our stuff, but I want to know that our product is still mm -hmm. like tip top too. Yeah. So when I hear that something's riding really right, nice, like regardless of graphic, I get really excited. Awesome. Yeah. And I think, you know, like uh, looking at the specs of the deck, and the graphic, I've really, I, there's something yeah. that really strikes a chord with me with the dispute. Yeah, this is, it's you know, my, that's, I think that's my favorite one of the line. Like, yeah. just like it's so crazy. And so this is Ben Bilodeau's kind of like idea graphic sure. board, yeah. essentially. Um, and he's just like in the like same thing, like this culture, this fashion, like Dude. puts on something that you're like, what are you wearing? And makes it look <laughs> fucking cool. Yeah. Like if yeah. anyone else were to wear that, like, it I wouldn't work, that. which is yeah. really cool and speaks a lot to like, some people just have that. Yeah. And so we really wanted to get behind that. Like, all right, Ben, like, what do you want to do? And and then we came up, he came up with this with Josh and it's just like, it's it's so perfect. It's Ben and it's it's perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. And this this deck has the same construction materials as uh, this display, yep. but this one has camber right. with a little bit of yeah. rise. Yeah, and that's just what Ben wanted to. And, yeah. and it's also a directional twin. Okay. And Ben wanted yeah. that as well. Cool. So we just kind of like made those adjustments for him. But this is our, you know, our top of the line board. This has all the bells and whistles. Yeah. And what's rad about it is like, yeah, it's that, but it's also like a beefy like park board. Like Ben jumps on this board cool. and he hits street rails on it. Yeah. Ben's actually a known, people know that he's an amazing jumper. Yeah. And that's another thing. I see him hitting a giant 80 foot park jump on this board. I'm like, cool, like it works oh, yeah. and it's working, you know? Yeah. So, and even, yeah. even someone who, who, like maybe as, as myself, like I said, like th this is probably the board I'd be drawn to. Uh, it's not necessarily uh, like a mid wide, but it's a little bit wider than yeah. some of the other bigger yeah. lengths, right? Exactly. It's got a half inch setback stance. Yep. It's got carbon, it's got air mid in it. Yep. Like, it, because I come from like a like a freestyle background, like like dicking around when I'm just like cruising. Yeah. Like even if you're at a big mountain too, yeah. like you can you can throw this on groomed trails, like do side hits all day, For jump sure. off cat tracks. Sure. Like you don't have to be in the park all the time. No, no. Because this would be a, this would be a stable, fast board. Yeah. And this was sort of like our answer to like a little bit more of an all mountain board. Sure. Like we have some you know shops in Colorado that hey yeah. we want like something a little bit more for this kind of riding and, right. and then we so we developed this one where it's like been so good that he can ride like this all mountain board yeah on like parks like he's yeah. just like that good like he could do a press on this where it's a little bit stiffer but for him it's like it works. works yeah oh man yeah it's cool dude a joke. and the graphics really sweet the this like i know you have a hoodie yeah. of this i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna buy a damn hoodie <laughs> i'm gonna buy a damn hoodie that's like that's such a really cool thing yeah, oh just again, man, I, I can't say enough about Josh. Like the way he'll be like, what do you think about this? And it's, I just see it and I get like a feeling and I'm like, that's it that's and it's so perfect. Cool. So to have someone at the brand that we have this like synergy with is, is so cool. So like, that's the thing if like, I think if another company was like, what do you guys think about this dog? They'd be like, get out of here. Like it, <laughs> it just doesn't really work. But with Josh and the fire and all yeah. these things and then you yeah. put it together and it's like, we think it's rad. Yeah. yeah, dude. I think it. I think it all works. And just looking at the, the the collection as a whole, like every board makes sense. It looks like they should be in the places that they are. Thank you. You know, like and that's thought, that is thought out. Like we, yeah. I want to put thought to things. Like I think everything top to bottom with our company, even like the social media, it's all like has thought behind it. Like yeah. the names and the name of the camber and like yeah. all these different things. Like I love when things sort of like make sense, and they're kind of all over the place, but they make sense. Like yeah. Daryl's is called the display, and they're photos, and like it's this whole thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like little things that I suppose the average person may not 
known us right away until they like really look into it. I'm like, oh, I, I understand that more. Yeah, like general public, it's for like more of the masses. Like it's for <laughs> people like that. So we've just, it's fun to come up with. And we get kids all the time. You're like, you guys ever thought about public, you know, out, outlaw, outcry? And it's like, you're like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Like it's cool <laughs> that kids are like catching on to like, that's sort of like what it is. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, it's so it's so rad to see. You. And congrats again on, thank you. on five five years. That's yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, anyone who's watching, you know, uh, leave any comments or questions in the video. Make sure to hit the links if you guys want to buy any of these boards. They're probably gonna sell up fast. Hit the links. Get them before they're all gone. Um, and uh, yeah, Joe. Yeah. And if you have any questions, send me a DM or send public a DM. That's what the brand is for too. Is like lifting the veil of this whole like no communication thing. Like I answer every DM. I want people to buy the boards to feel like they're a part of something. Awesome. And we want it to be a community. Like if you're, if you're down with public, then, then let us know and, and we'll support you too. Awesome. And how, how can people follow you? Uh, my personal Instagram is Joe Sexton 1817. And then public's Instagram is at this is public. So I, I run the public one and we like, if you have questions on the boards, if you need help on a size or just want to say what's up, send us a message. Easy. Yeah. Awesome. Joe, cool. thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys on snow. Peace.